Today, we're interviewing Carl Stafford with My Region Wins. Hi, Carl. Hello, Bob. So tell us a little bit about your background and how you became interested in the environment and climate issues. Well, my original background is as an artist. So graduated from the Kansas City Art Institute. And at my time through art school, we really learned about what it meant to be an artist. And so they let you know that you was either going to be an artist or a well-paid tool. And through the history of art, artists really made an impact in society. So graduating, you had that desire to really want to make an impact in society, but it was like how we was going to do that was the question. So being able to obtain a vacant property from land bank, that became our canvas. It's kind of like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. So we wanted to go ahead and turn this vacant property into our art installation. And in 2016, we was able to go ahead and get to know land just by cutting grass on a regular basis and seeing land as a canvas rather than just a yard to be cut. And so the discovery, I would say, of my journey into the environmental was through art. Well, that's an incredible entrance and, you know, cutting grass and stuff and learning from the land. I love that phrase. Tell us about your group, My Region Wins. So My Region Wins, Kansas City's creative nonprofit organization. Our mission is to transcend everyday challenges by using the arts to nurture creative and undeveloped ideas that shape society. Our projects and programs are addressed to, are created to address environmental and social injustices and issues. Our work is done at the intersection of the arts, nature, and neighborhoods. And then our services are to habilitate dreams and nurture greatness. So we wanna assist companies in supporting their employees' aspirational goals and dreams. You um, named your property Boone Area One. Tell us about that. So Boone Area One, that's our interactive functional art installation. The word boon means something beneficial, sought after, and helpful. It's an environmental nature-based interactive art installation that acts as a contemporary community garden and a neighborhood revenue generator. So again, we took this vacant property and since 2020, we have not had to cut grass because we planted buffalo grass. Once we learned about buffalo grass, so after four years of cutting grass, we learned about buffalo grass and we learned about other native plants. And that's when the really, really interest in the environment kicked in because we learned about the water cycle and learned about how the native plants with deep roots stored water and that addressed water insecurity, let alone stormwater runoff. And so as an artist, we wanted to demonstrate and display this. So to us, we are using the environment as interactive functional art and since 2021 boone area one has been able to generate enough revenue from social gatherings for us to be able to give a portion of that revenue to the noble neighborhood boone area one is located in and the goal is for that yearly check that we give to noble neighborhood to grow and the idea is for that neighborhood to be able to build neighborhood capacity, build neighborhood projects and programs. So now that neighborhood is sustainable. If Alaska is stipending residents off of a natural resource oil, we could be stipending our residents off of a natural resource, two of them, stormwater and land. And so as an artist, to be able to come up with this idea and an environmentalist and a neighborhood leader, to be able to have a solution to present to my people, it's an amazing opportunity. You've been a partner with the Climate Council now for several months. How's that going for you? Oh, it's going amazing. Like the idea of being validated is huge. It's empowering to be able as a grassroots nonprofit organization who head person works 40 hours a week at a job to be able to go ahead and know that you have an ally that you could send an email 
to with a sentence and they come back with paragraphs of more information for you when they're willing to advocate for you when they're willing to come to your events and promote your events and have you brush shoulders with larger entities that are somewhat doing the same thing that you're doing and maybe not even doing what you're doing introducing you to them it's it's a huge it's a huge thing to be thankful for and we're greatly appreciative and we're excited what the future looks like so speaking of the future what are your future plans there's a boon area one do you see a boon area two down the road oh we see boon area three four five how many hearts was there throughout the city <laughs> we, we we want a boon area in every neighborhood that's the whole case we want boon areas across the world like right? so but for right now, our 2024, we're getting ready for our Go Green campaign. And so we want to encourage everybody to go green, purchase green, native plants, trees, rain barrels, rain gardens, raised garden beds. So from January 1 until April 22nd, Earth Day, we're doing a Go Green campaign to where the more purchases purchased, the lower the price of the order of a tray of 38 plugs of native plant plugs. My apologies. But you can go to myregionwinds.org to find out more information and to get involved. Well, thank you for joining us today, Carl. Hey, thank you for having me, Bob. Thank you for what you do. Continue to be great. And may great fortunes continue to come your way.